by the Orchid Saga. My name is Elkion Wiersma and today I have another Blooms, Buds and Such a video for you guys. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's episode number 16. So this is basically a video where I do some updates and sometimes some suggestions and today we have a, a two, uh, two suggestions. So, uh, and also some updates and all of the updates are very great, I think, but there's one very special because I thought it wouldn't be happening yet so soon. So that will uh, be in this video as well. But I'm going to start with a suggestion. The first one is or actually a question um, from uh, Michael McCarthy. And uh, it's about the KOE that I recently showed in my uh, Bloom update, uh, last uh, video, last Sunday. And the bloom, uh, meanwhile, did uh, fall off. <laughs> but he asked uh, to show um, the whole plant in frame, so they could have a idea uh, of the size of the plant when it's able to bloom. Because he gives it this uh, well a variety of the kiwi uh, to hillbilly orchids, and so they could have a, uh, like I said, an idea when to expect it to bloom. Well, I hope you can see it. While I'm, uh, meanwhile, I'm talking. <laughs> I must admit, this last growth here from last, you did make a sheet, but it didn't start to bloom. But I, no, it no, it didn't make a bud. So it skipped a year. Maybe it could have bloomed a little bit earlier. But uh, this is uh, this is the size to it. And this bloom is better. The uh, uh, this bloom, this uh, leaf is better. This leaf is uh, fairly short. So that would probably be in this transition period. I'm not sure yet. It's from 22, I did repot it. So probably that's the case here with this cane. But yeah, this is the size. And uh, yeah, while we're at uh, the subject of hillbilly orchids, congratulations, hillbilly, uh, with your uh, Paula, with your uh, 1K subscribers. It's uh, it's very great. It's absolutely a beautiful milestone and well deserved. You have a beautiful channel. You make beautiful videos. So it's really uh, really nice to see that you hit that 1K. So, but anyhow, this is uh, the first uh, question request that we have. And while I'm here. Um, I just want to show you, well, I try to find a spot for this plant. I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> this one is also in bloom. This is very special, I think. This is the Lelia Xantina. I have it in bloom, you guys, with three blooms. The last uh, of the, yeah, this is the newest growth and the grown before. I did make a sheet, but it didn't bloom last year. But I decided to uh, put out a bloom uh, this year. As you can see, one bloom here. And we have two blooms on uh, the newest cane. And they are beautiful, if you ask me. So this is, uh, I'm not sure if it still is Alelia because everything does get a new name these days. <laughs> but it's the, uh, I have it as the Alelia Xantina. Absolutely beautiful. I love this yellow. Absolutely stunning. And yeah, I think it's it might be fragrant. Not at the moment, but we have a little bit of a dull day today. So I think with a little bit more light, I I wouldn't uh, be surprised if this is fragrant. But not yet. Not at the moment. But yeah, awesome. It looks beautiful. I need to take a picture of this one. I like uh, to, keep, uh, to keep pictures of uh, the ones that I uh, have in bloom. So I have those on a record. So that's the first update. Let's go to the second one. It's a request from Elzo. And for that uh, request I'm going to take you on a little tour. We need to go at my Miltonia section. And uh, let me turn off the ventilator. It's fairly warm so I need it on but I do turn it off just for a few minutes so we can do the update because from Elzo I did receive this beautiful Miltonia Spectabilis uh, Semi Alba and he asked how is it doing well it's doing fine but it's been through a rough time it for most of my Miltonias, especially when they're f fairly big they take a little bit uh, longer to adapt to a new system but I hope you can see that we have new roots on the way, new growths in the back. Um, let me check. Yeah, we have new growths here. So it doesn't bloom uh, yet, but it's better. I uh, agree with the plan, just not to bloom yet. 
but I see that it's now it's it's now going upwards again. So we had a little bit of a dip here and there, <laughs> as you can see some uh, shrinking on the bulbs, but it's starting to get there. We have some old leaves yellowing, that's fine. But the rest is beautiful green, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it just does take a little bit longer, but it should be fine. It's it's looking great. Uh, in this uh, situation, I should say. So it will be better. And then it might be something uh, like this. This one is just starting to open up. This is the Moroliane. And I had it, it did look similar, very similar when I just had it, but you can see now it's just taking off. It's absolutely beautiful with this beautiful purple blooms. So yeah, it will be fine, but that, uh, that's the update. It's just uh, living here near these uh, other beautiful uh, Miltonias, which are also starting to bloom. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's uh, doing fine. So that's the second request I have. And yes, I have a little bit of a confession to make because I know I, I, I had some requests on my new plants I recently bought. I had quite a few of them to do uh, videos on uh, the repotting, but I'm sorry, you guys, I, I couldn't make it because of my schedule. It was very, very busy. So I could only do a few every day. I only had about 10 to 20 minutes sometimes to do a repot. And uh, yeah, it goes way quicker if you don't film it in, in most cases. So that's why I didn't film these guys, but I had, I had to repot them because this is a, we're still in a beautiful uh, season to let them adapt, so I did uh, take advantage of that. But yeah, I apologize, I didn't film them all. But I have luckily quite some uh, videos on here. If you're new here and you have no idea how I do repot and transition my orchids into self-watering, I have the videos on here. But yeah, I apologize to the guy, uh, to, the, to the guys, to the people that uh, asked for the, uh, filming the repotting. I will do it. Uh, I believe in an, uh, on another occasion because I probably will have some new orchids uh, anyway someday. So I will do. Uh, I try to will uh, build up to film it then. So yeah, that's a little bit of a confession. But yeah, they do well. But they really are. Um, I'm waiting for the new roots. So and most of them do start to take off beautifully, as you can see here. So. That is the confession. <laughs> and then I have a little bit of an update here on my Venus, which I should have done probably a little bit earlier. But um, a few weeks back, I did send two of my Venus over to Incense Orchids. And that was because I he wanted them, of course, <laughs> and I wanted to give them. But to be honest, I wanted a shelf gone over here. So this shelf was about this level and I had another one. I did take that off because these three are starting to get really big. So they have some space now to grow uh, a few years to grow even a bit bigger. And also down here, I had a little bit more space for my viruses. Uh, but as you can see, one is in front of the shelf because of this beautiful long spike. So I can see the blooms a bit better which are stunning. And it started to reach uh, this shelf, the spike. So that's why it's now temporary here, but it does fit in there. So they, that's very nice, I think. The Alba Fires is over here. This one I did buy to celebrate my 1K, K milestone over here. <laughs> and this is the Grammatophyllum, Grammatophyllum speciosum variety Alba which is getting fairly big as well. So that's why I, uh, I like, I like the, the idea to uh, send a few vendors over because then I could put the smaller ones that were over here, over there, and just everything has a little bit more space to grow. Because yeah, as you can see, these are really starting uh, to get some size to them, which makes them beautiful, if you ask me. Beautiful blooms. And this one, as you can see, it has about seven keikis in here, but the mother plant is fairly large as well, as is this one. So yeah, therefore I uh, needed, uh, needed some space over here. <laughs> and while we at my Avena corner, let's do an update on my uh, 
Cenotus and Catacetum type orchids. I have four of them. But look how big they are getting. Absolutely beautiful. They arch a little bit over. I just let them because, yeah, they are just <laughs> very large. But they are looking very promising. Absolutely beautiful. I'm lo really looking forward uh, to the spikes. And I think they will uh, bloom again. Last year I had all four of them for the first time in bloom. I started the year before with two of them. But like I said, last year all four. So I hope this year we will uh, get them in bloom again this year. But yeah, as I can tell, they look even bigger than the year before. So yeah, I think they're really doing well. Absolutely beautiful. So that's something uh, to uh, look forward to. And yeah, why not do an update on my vanilla? I finally have a growing point again. So yeah, my vanilla stops growing as soon as it does get a little bit colder. The tip starts to rot off. So this is the fourth uh, attempt of it. I have it about three years now here. I was hoping that it should reach the ceiling and I can uh, let it grow all over to my uh, into my greenhouse, basically. But yeah, so far nothing yet. So, well, it's 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 trying. Let's put it like that. But yeah, I was hoping to. Uh, keep it in growth even during the winter but yeah apparently it's a little bit too cold for it i have it uh, around 80, 18 degrees celsius here but yeah it really doesn't uh, like that type of temperature but anyhow just some updates in this uh, this corner and then over in this section of the greenhouse also an update the one that i was really looking forward to that I didn't thought it would happen this year, but it is, maybe you spotted, it's not a uh, update on a fell, Fenoliops as well, um, uh, uh, sort of, it's uh, my Bobophyllum Fenoliopsis, can you see it already? It is almost in bloom. And I, I just recently did repot it, and, but yeah, it, it didn't mind it at all. We even have some, some down here, as you can see. So quite some blooms, but they do look beautiful. And those very beautiful long leaves. This growth was already there. I don't, uh, didn't get a new growth yet, but instead it uh, decided to uh, give me these beautiful uh, flowers. So yeah, I, I didn't expect this because like I said, just recently did we put it into a whole new system. But it has a beautiful root system and uh, I did a video on it, so I will link it or I, perhaps I already had uh, linked it, but uh, it's doing fine, doing fine. I changed the position. I had it hanging over there, but the uh, leaves did get quite some uh, purple color, color on it. So I decided to put it in this corner and I think it likes it. It does look uh, very beautiful. Absolutely. So yeah, I thought this is a nice opportunity to do an update on this one. <laughs> and then the last uh, updates are over here. Uh, uh, very nearby, my Miltoniopsis, which are giving me a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely stunning. But the first is just, I never had this happen, as far as I remember, on my Naavium, Naavium Odontoglossum. Two spikes, this is the last spike that uh, started to open up the blooms and we have even a third one but it does look so beautiful with those fairly big spikes absolutely stunning and such beautiful blooms so yeah i just wanted to show them and over here i have these in my uh, blooming update the saigo nisias that one and this one but Maybe you did see it back there. We have one, two, three, four spikes on here. But this one is coming from the apex. And it's going all up here. And then it makes a uh, leaf on a flower spike. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe this is what they do, the, the Zygonesias. I'm not, uh, well, actually this is a Zygopetalum. So it's not a cross, I'm not completely sure about it, there's no idea, but. Michael McCarthy gave me, uh, did give me this name, so, and I think it's right because the blooms are looking very similar if I look up that name. But yes, spikes, also this one is doing it with a sort of leaf coming here. 
from the apex and uh, this one is doing it as well over here i hope you can see it let me whoops i'm sorry a leaf in the way let me zoom in a little bit really coming from the apex not sure but anyhow they do look great we have quite some blooms there in the back as well as you can see so they are doing fine but i i didn't see this uh, yet on my zygos but anyhow it uh it does look fine, but it's strange, a flower spike with a leaf. <laughs> so I'm not sure if that is really uh, what they should be doing. Anyhow, and just a quick update over here. That's the last one. I hope you enjoy these updates. I personally do, especially when they're good updates, of course. Yeah, we didn't uh, look at these guys for a while. These are my Miltoniopsis Ro uh, Rosalii variety Xantina, the yellow ones. So they didn't bloom, but uh, yet fairly young plants but look at this how beautiful and strong these guys are getting beautiful bulbs this one as well here in the back you can see those leaves i really see that they are getting bigger and stronger and luckily they do take my cell watering setup fairly well making beautiful uh, roots systems these two were over here already and i bought three of them the other one is this one i had kept this one a little bit darker it's still doing fine but it wasn't growing as strong as these two so i did decided to put this one on the shelf as well just to uh because these really do like that extra uh, daylight as we can see i hope you can see how strong these growths are so i thought yeah that's a nice update on the uh xantias uh, yeah, we'll find a place for the tag uh, later. So yeah, you guys, I think this is it for now for this uh, video, the updates. Let's uh, show this one quickly. Such beautiful <laughs> spikes. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this video. Like I said, I really enjoy whoops making them myself. It's a little bit crowdy over here, and now you can see. That's why I'm always doing my intros and outros if I'm in front of the camera outside because of the light. You can see it's it doesn't do very well on camera, sadly, because otherwise I would be filming these beauties way more often because these are absolutely my favorites but yeah it's the lighting it's not uh, doesn't look that great actually this one is for the second time in bloom you see if those lights are gone it does look better it's now a little bit dark but we have more daylight over here you can see the difference i think it does look so much nicer sadly so that's why uh, you see my uh, intros and outros like I said, if I'm in front of the camera, always in my greenhouse, or basically always. Anyhow, you, uh, anyhow, anyhow uh, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. And for now, maybe you want to give this a thumbs up, like and subscribe if you didn't already have. And I really hope to see you at one of my uh, next videos. Bye bye.